Well, as the sun rises, that means it's going to be another morning here for Astoros, where I believe we've got some hearthlings. At least we did have some hearthlings over this way that were doing some things, probably gathering some berries or whatever these are. What are they? Cherry bushes. So they're getting cherries. All right. What are you doing? What are you over here grabbing? You're grabbing something. Fair enough. To each their own. Uh, we do have a daily update. We don't have the net worth for another hearthling, which honestly is probably for the best, given the fact that, uh, as it stands, we only have three beds. And uh, I know for a fact they're not too keen on that. They they do not really enjoy these three beds. Uh, some of their moods are, well, they're content, but they, apparently the sun's too bright, really? You're tired, your meal was raw. Uh, slept outside, slept in a share bed. Yeah, they don't like sleeping outside, and they don't like not having their own beds. So what I think we do is maybe, 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 we get another one of these. Because we have, uh, this is not the right one either. We're looking for this one. Or we could have gone for this one, Red Roof. But anyway, that's kind of beside the point. Um, I think we get another one of these. And I think what we do is we just have two of these. Because what we have at the minute is eight hearthlings. Each of these contains, I believe, four beds. So two of those will be enough to manage everything, I guess. So that'll be kind of fantastic. Uh, now, unfortunately, we don't actually have enough stone to keep building everything. And I say that knowing full well that uh, there is stone lying around, I think. That's a small boulder. I don't think we can pick that up. I think there's stone over here, no? Maybe not. Maybe we have, in fact, used all of the stone that is available to us. Also, I've just realized that is a chicken. Interesting. I was going to tear this apart at one point, but not realizing it's a chicken, I don't really want to do that. I kind of like it. I do, I do actually kind of like it. So I think we're going to, we're going to probably keep that. I'm also thinking that it might not be a bad idea. I mean, let's, let's have a look at this thing real quick. Uh, so how do I, how do I select a building in progress? I do not remember how to do this. Uh, so this only needs, what, eight more bits of stone. Everything actually for it has been built. So I guess what we could do is go in and say, if you are currently building, maybe you don't do that and you can do mining instead. Now, some of these guys are harvesting cherry bushes and eating bowls of savory meat and all that stuff, but hopefully we'll see some of them start to mine things out. I would hope that they would do it over here at some point. I'm not really sure. Maybe what we do is we just cancel these mining jobs to remove you, remove you, remove you as well, and get rid of you. And instead of doing what I wanted to do, maybe what we do is we just mine some kind of quarry. So say, I mean, I don't know, do I want to go into this big old cliff here? We could. We absolutely could. Because what I'm thinking is at some point I want to dig straight through some of these massive cliff faces. Oh, that's interesting looking. That's a meteor has touched on there. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Um... Right, I'm going to have to explore that at some point. Um, I want to dig through these cliff faces at some point and make like big old amazing looking uh, tunnels and stuff like that. So we need to pick the right place for a quarry. And I think over here is maybe the right place for a quarry. How big can I make this? I can make it quite big actually. So let's do, let's do this, right? And let's just gradually see what we can do. So we'll take out two layers to start with. And I'm basically going to do something I've done a lot where we create sort of a staircase going straight down, where we're going to cascade from the surface the whole way down into the ground, and eventually it'll probably be a network of tunnels and caverns and big old excavated sites down there. But right now it's just going to be mining up dirt and uh, fiber. Or thatch, I should say. Well, fiber as well. It's dry grass harvested from fibers plants. So it's, it's fiber, that's fine. Um, let's not bring in another hearthling right now. A group of soldiers passes by. Um, not really too interested in that either. I think we'll be okay. 
But I do like this idea of just gradually mining out this entire space. I think that could be kind of useful. I'm also thinking that, let's see here. At some point, we're going to want a blacksmith. We need iron ore and stone for that. So let's go ahead and queue that up because a blacksmith will be kind of useful. And uh, I'm pretty sure a blacksmith means we can actually get a miner at some point. And I mentioned that the, the mining job is a thing in uh, the list of mods that I'm using. And apparently, there are different levels of pickaxe that we can get our hands on, which means that uh, eventually the miners can mine faster and more efficiently and all that kind of stuff. So eventually, we're going to have people dedicated to just mining out different spaces, which given that I want to carve through these big old cliffs at some point, I think that's going to be really good for us. Aronia has returned. Aronia appears again at the edge of the camp. How long has she been standing there? Observing. Aronia gestures at the camp, smiling approval. I have come again to pass your stories to the library, she indicates. She sits by the fire, produces another birch shaving, and waits. Aronia meticulously notes everyone's adventures in the runes on the birch bark, and again commits them to the flames. Your fleck of light is growing. Soon your hearth will draw others, and someday, it, too, will be a star in the constellation of our people. What wisdom has your settlement gleaned that it wishes to pass on to the rest of our people? That wealth should be shared. That it is possible to build bastions that stand strong against the cold. That we hunt even while knowing that we, in turn, may become the hunted. She tilts her head. I look forward to your wisdom. In the meantime, gift to remind you of spring. She places a small packet by the banner. We got some bright bell seeds, lovely. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff being carted over to storage as well. And I assume construction here going very, very slowly. That's all right. We're almost done with the couple of layers of mining that we had over here, which means in just a second, I'm going to be able to go ahead and do this, which will be absolutely fantastic to do. There we go. So we'll just take out that layer, and we'll take out this layer as well. That way we are, like I said, going to be slowly getting ourselves down there at surface level. I mean, we can actually slice in and see how far we're going to need to go. Uh, so we're going to want to go... A decent, a decent little depth done, but not that far before we're gonna hit stone. So gonna be a, f it's gonna be a few levels, but we'll get there. We'll 100% get there, and then eventually get a whole bunch of stone, so that construction can continue and good things can continue to happen over here. Uh, now we have a bunch of benches laying about. I need to remember to sell those the next time a merchant comes by. Wild game has been sighted. Hello. I'm pretty sure my archers can uh, go deal with that, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just send you guys over to uh, to kill, or you over to kill that fox. And that'll get us a pelt, that'll get us some meat, and the, I love that the cook is immediately over, like, yep, that's mine! I'm gonna be taking that, don't mind me, that's me, that's my job. Uh, so, a simple cloth merchant has arrived. Let's go ahead and let's sell all of those benches that we had. And let's see what we can buy. We have got some winter worker outfits. We've got simple winter worker outfits, which is kind of adorable looking, honestly. It's the little, little gloves and all that. I mean, I kind of, I kind of like the look of the gloves. I'm not gonna lie. I do, I do kind of like the look of them. I like the look of this one as well. But let's buy one, two, three of those. And I'm gonna buy that one as well. I know I don't need to do it, but I want to see what the outfits look like. I'm really curious. So, let's let's have some of my hearthlings come over and put on some outfits at some point, I'm sure. I know some of them won't do it. But hopefully some of them will. Okay, are you are you can I get can I get you to Can I get you to do that? I, I don't know how to actually I don't think I can equip anything. I don't think that's something I have the power to do. It's not like Rimworld where you can uh, tell them to put something on, so Maybe they don't do it until winter. I guess at the minute it's technically, it's it's spring, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. 
I've just bought winter outfits in spring. I hope I got a good deal for them. I hope this mod, this, 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 the, the mods I'm running have some kind of like, I don't know, uh, <laughs> some kind of, some kind of simulation of the off season. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, it's, 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 it's spring and you've just bought a bunch of winter clothing. That's going to be cheaper for you because it's the off season. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, anyway, these goblins up here, got a whole bunch of them. They are not really a worry, to be totally honest. They can't really do anything to me right now, so not going to stress too much about it. Um, I am noticing that construction is still happening here. I'm not really sure. Apparently, apparently we're getting stone from somewhere. I'm not 100% sure where we're getting it from, because we've not been mining any stone, at least not that I know of. And I'm pretty sure there's none just laying about right now, so... I don't know, we're getting it from somewhere, I suppose. Oh, that's a place to sleep. Okay, who is this? That was Brahm, okay. Fair enough. Uh, daily update again. I, we're just gonna decline. We don't need a ninth Harthling right now. I think we're fine with the eight that we have. And hopefully you guys... Can I actually... I'll tell you what. Let's stop the building. And let's just get everybody doing mining for a while. That way we can go ahead and get this all cleared out a lot quicker. And we can also get resources a lot quicker as well. I think having four or hopefully on occasion five Harslings doing this might not be a bad thing. So, you know, Brahm here who is currently sleeping quite quite happily there in the old, the old bad roll. But uh, at some point, five Harslings mining this out will be... Absolutely fantastic. Oh, we are getting stone. We got hunks of limestone coming out of this. Okay, well, that makes sense, I guess. It totally, I mean, I guess. I don't know what the ground is made of here. I guess it looks a bit like limestone. I'm assuming it's limestone. So, yeah, we're getting chunks of limestone. That's what's going on. That's all right, though. We'll just go ahead and just keep on doing what we're doing. We'll keep on digging down the way we've been doing. So, we'll just do that, and then we'll go in and we'll do... Uh, this as well. And just gradually tear out all the ground, get the, uh, get the limestone, get the stone that we need, and everything will be absolutely beautiful. And like I said, we get four, maybe five hearthlings working on all this, and it will be fantastic news. The, the big issue at the minute is going to be hauling things. We have stuff everywhere. And that's not exactly the way we want things. We're going to want to start moving it in different, into uh, different stockpiles, and different storage areas. But truthfully, I don't really feel like doing that right now. I'm not really, I'm not really that concerned about moving everything into different storage areas. I will set up some different storage areas. So here, for example, we can just have everything. And then here, for example, we can just have everything and then here apparently we can't because there's a rock in the way but we'll get you know more stockpiles and all that good stuff and uh, it actually does look like we have a good amount of uh that's clay just laying around we have we have we have clay and limestone i guess that's fine they're getting there they're totally getting there i think what we could maybe do is say that brahm can do some building so we're still going to stick with four people doing the uh, the mining, but we'll have a a fifth person working to finish this house because it's kind of important to me that the house gets finished. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of it's kind of really important that place gets finished so people can stop sleeping outside. And eventually, when the second one gets built, it means we can go ahead and have a bed for everybody. We can actually go ahead and assign beds, and that's going to cheer them up a little bit as well. Because I do want to try my very very best to actually have my hearthlings be happy because you know this one aaron here is a little bit glum right so aaron what's 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 going on with you what's wrong with you how do i view your sheet so ooh, that's not good ui error that's probably all right uh so you're very thirsty i didn't realize you have an alcohol intolerance okay uh, you slept in the ground, you had a bad dream. Okay. So, very thirsty. We don't need this. I'm pretty sure we need one of these. We need to dig a water well. So, let's go ahead and place a water well um, here. 
I guess, and we'll get that built as soon as we can. And I guess that's going to be a way to let my halflings drink. That's a really cool animation. And it totally is. They actually need to drink, which I shouldn't be surprised about. That's, uh, this mod kind of expands on everything. I'm also pretty sure I can go ahead and build a stone water well. So let's craft up one of those. We've also got these barn hatches and all that stuff as well. There's some really cool stuff in here. We've got a bone carving studio, which is really cool. There's a lot of really cool stuff. Again, we've got the counters. We've got one of the candle holders were in there by default. There's just there's just cool stuff. I'd love to build something, like a, have a building at some point that is uh, just absolutely covered in, in, in bone furniture. Also, a stone water well roof might be kind of interesting. I don't know that we really need it, though. Also, do we have a... We do. We have the mason's pedestal. So let's go ahead and place the mason's pedestal there. That way the mason can do some more advanced stuff. And uh, this over here is actually ready to go down even further. So let's just continue to go in here. And just keep clearing things out. Keep getting some limestone. And it's just going to be a big old quarry. Honestly, what we could do is keep this going down and then tunnel straight through there and out the other side and have that be one of the ways through. But that might be a little bit weird. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just like the idea of at some point going through all of the cliffs and having this just be some kind of beautiful, massive city inside of this. It's like oasis or whatever this is going to be. I think it would be really cool. That is, uh, that is all I'm saying. I, I think it'd be really cool. But we'll see. Anyway, these guys are doing a fantastic job of clearing that out. We've got the Mason's Pedestal over there. Is there anything else I can tell a cook to do at the moment? So, fermentation carboy. The cook and herbalist can use this to make mead. It requires unfermented mead crafted by either of them. Interesting. So, if we get some copper... We can brew things. We can get an oven. Let's get an oven. That seems like a good idea. Let's get the fermentation thing, because that seems like a good idea. Uh, a bucket of cherry juice. But we need a copper brewery for that. Interesting. An armed goblin. Uh, not really a threat up there, I'm going to be honest. There's, there's some cool stuff we can do. I keep saying that. I feel like I keep saying that. I'm sorry, but it's... I'm really excited, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm genuinely really, really excited to see where we can go with all of this. Uh, now let's see. Let's go ahead and make a potter's cutter while we're here. We're going to need iron ore as well. Uh, we can make a stone practice sword. We could probably go ahead and make... Let's make five of those because we can. And let's see. You're passing by, selling all sorts of things. I'm not really too interested in that. I do think we should say... So, let's actually have a read here. So, temporary storage for 32 items. Tons are able to hold different items as long as they're interesting. And then tank. I don't really... I don't know what all of these are. Four simple or prepared drinks. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into a lot of this. We've got, like... St stone small animal doors. We've got barn hatches. There, I'm gonna, oh my god. There's a lot. There's a lot that I need to learn. I dread to think what's gonna be in the carpenter's menu and the potter and the blacksmith. I say I dread to think. I'm excited to find out, but I imagine it's gonna be a lot of things. I, I imagine it's gonna be a lot of things. And it's just going to be, it's going to be a total nightmare for me to actually figure out how any of it works. But I'm just, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Anyway, this has finished its digging task again. So we'll go ahead and do this. And we'll go ahead and do this. And I think we're getting there. Like I said, I think we're, we're slowly getting there in terms of, uh, in terms of everything. I would imagine we probably have enough. Yeah, we've got enough stone. Let's go ahead and get a few more people back on the, uh, back in the old building there so that this thing actually gets finished a bit sooner than later. Um, it also cuts away relatively nicely, so we're going to be able to see into this once it is... Uh, it actually cuts away really nicely. 
we're going to be able to see into it really, really well when it is, uh, it's finished. So we'll go ahead and get these last layers on there and uh, get the furniture in there. And then we can get the other one under construction as well. And like I said, at that point, we're going to have a bed for everybody. And everybody's going to be a bit happier. And what is that? It's fish. Have there always been fish? Long fishling. Okay. And big fish. Okay. Um, have there always been fish? Is that... Has that always been a thing? I feel like it hasn't. I'm not going to lie. Um, also, I'm pretty sure build stone water well is, is a thing, isn't it? I don't know if I don't I don't know if that actually if that button did anything, but I guess we'll find out. Hopefully, we can actually upgrade this thing to a stone water well, though. That'd be nice. Make it look a little bit more fancy. I will say this: uh, the the water the water well idea is gonna be really cool for you know when I eventually try to turn this whole place into some kind of town or 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 city or whatever. Because having wells around the place will be, I think that'll be really cool. I think that'll look really interesting, so. Kind of excited to do that. Daily updates here, food is still okay, net worth is still okay. I'm still not okay with bringing in more hearthlings though, so we're just not going to do that. And what are you all doing? What, what are you doing? There you go, they're just setting things down apparently, all right. Uh, well, the good news is that the work on the roof is done, so the furniture is all just going in at this point, which should be relatively easy. We've got beds going in. We've got tables going in. I'm sure we're going to have chairs going in at some point. So what we can do is go ahead and actually start assigning these. Uh, so Snorri, and then uh, Magnus, and then Brom, and then we'll go for uh, Leon as well. So four of them now have their own beds, which is fantastic news. Let's go back in here. Let's click on this. We don't have the stone needed. We don't have any of the materials yet, but we'll go ahead and build it. And then once that's done, every single hearthling is going to have their own bed, which I think is good. I think that'll be fantastic. So that that will hopefully cheer a few of them up. They're going to stop complaining about sleeping outside. They're going to stop complaining about not having their own bed. It's going to be beautiful is, is what it's going to be. It's going to be absolutely beautiful.